Hi my busy bumblebees, this is Miss Olga, occupational therapist. Today we're gonna do some cutting and when you're done I have a surprise for you. A kinder egg. I can't wait to open it. So let's start. For this activity you will need a pen or a marker, scissors, and some construction paper. Once you get the paper your parents will help you cut four squares and five strips of paper about two inches in width. See you when you get it. Okay parents, so let's draw the lines for the children so they can cut. Okay, this is number one. This is the design number three. Design number four. And design number five. Okay, let's move on to squares. I'm going to use a thicker side of the marker to draw the next design. It is easier for child to stay online. I'm going to put a star at the end to make sure the child knows where to go. Where is the stop? Now our maze is gonna look like a box. Next we're going to make a maze that looks like a heart. I'm going to use a pointy side now to add the challenge. Our last picture is going to be a shape of a triangle. To add the challenge I'm going to use the pointy side again. Okay kids, now it's your turn to cut. Take a paper that has a wavy line. Trace it with your finger so you know the way you're going. Next, let's put the thumb in a small hole and the rest of the fingers in a bigger hole. Something like this. Start at the end of the paper and slowly close your scissors without closing them all the way. Keep them open just a little bit so you can open, close and the paper is still inside the scissors. Do it at your own pace. Let's take the zigzag line. Look where it starts. Don't close your scissors all the way, just a little. Try to keep your scissors on the line. Keep all your fingers inside the loop. Okay, go at your own pace. job. Next is the curved line and the zigzag together. Let's trace it with your finger. Okay, now that we know where we're going, I'm going to start at the end. Align the scissors with the line and try to keep your scissor in line with your parents drawing. I'm gonna make a zigzag and the curve. Go in your own pace, don't rush, slowly. Thumb up, in the small loop, other fingers in the big loop. Keep your fingers inside. Open, close, don't close it all the way. 
follow the road go in your own pace don't rush slowly Work on the last one and go at your own pace. Fingers are in the loops. Don't close your scissors completely and turn the paper in the directions that the scissors are going. This is white. And we made a box looking design. The paper is pink. It has curvy lines and pointy lines. What color is it? This is red. This is the zigzag. What color is this? This is yellow. It has a pointy angle and a curved line. This is orange. It has a curved line. First, take a circle. Get your finger out and trace it. Trace your paper. Once you're done, take your scissors and follow the line. there go in your own pace I reached the star and now this is looks like something like a snake we can draw eyes and the tongue so this is our snake next take something that looks like a rectangle get your finger out and trace it we're going to reach the star. Go in your own pace. Don't close the scissors completely. Once you reach the corner, you stop and turn. Stop and turn. Good job. Next, take a triangle. Start at the beginning and go to the star. Do it in your own pace. Don't rush. reach the star. To add a challenge you can use the other scissors that make the design on the paper. So this is the start. We're gonna go to the start and we're going to try to follow the line as much as we can. Don't close your scissors completely. Keep turning the paper and closing and opening the scissors. Keep all your fingers inside the loops. Look at the line, follow the line, pay attention. Go at your own pace. And this is our heart, let's see. Okay, now we're ready to open the egg. It's a magical turtle and a crab. It has special tokens and you can draw the shapes with it. Let's try. This looks like a palm tree and this looks like a fish. I hope you had fun cutting with me. 
See you next time. Bye.